In order to prove the isosceles triangle theorem, we have a look at this figure. We have been given triangle ABC. And if you see these signs, it means that in this triangle ABC, side AB is congruent to side AC. And this, my dear friends, is your theorem 3.1. And what is the theorem of 3.1? What is the statement? It says that if any two sides of a triangle are congruent, then the angles opposite them are congruent. So we start with the proof of this theorem given in triangle ABC, side AB is congruent to side AC. To prove that the angles opposite to these sides are also congruent, that means we have to prove that this angle B is congruent to angle C. Now for this particular proof, we shall do construction. Now what is the construction that we are going to do, my dear friends, is that we shall construct or draw the angle bisector of this angle BAC. intersecting BC at this point and we call this point as point D such that D lies between B and C. So this is the angle bisector means that this angle is congruent to this angle. Is this part clear? Angle bisector means that this angle bisector AD divides angle BAC into two equal angles. This is by construction. So we shall write construction. Draw angle bisector of angle BAC intersecting BC at D. In brackets we will write B dash D dash C. D lies between B and C. We shall now start with the proof, we will say in triangle, now look at this, what has happened is when you have drawn this angle bisector, this whole triangle has been divided into two smaller triangles. So we will say in triangle BAD and Triangle CAD, BAD and CAD, we will say side AB congruent to side AC and what is the reason given, yes or no, then we will say Angle BAD is congruent to angle CAD. What is the reason? We can say by construction AD is the angle bisector and third if you see this AD is congruent to itself side AD is congruent to side AD 
Is this clear? Now, and we'll write the reason common side. This is the common side for both the triangles. Now my dear friends, can you see S A S you don't need to write this. I'm just demonstrating to you. S A S the use of SAS test of congruence. Now these three conditions have been satisfied for these two triangles. Therefore, we will say triangle BAD is congruent to triangle CAD. And what is the reason that we will write? It is the SAS test of congruence. Now, if these two triangles are congruent to each other, we studied this earlier. If the three conditions are satisfied, then automatically the remaining three conditions will get satisfied. Therefore, if these two triangles are congruent to each other, then this, see this has been proved, right? That this is congruent to itself. So, SAS, SAS, Three conditions have been satisfied. Therefore, we can say that angle B is congruent to angle C.